<clears throat> Bobby Chuck sort of took over scoring wise uh, down the uh, stretch. I mean, try to explain what you saw out there, what what he was doing. Was that within what you wanted done? It looked pretty good. Well, he took a lot better shots. I, I thought his balance was a lot better. Uh, you know, we've been on him about about his balance, and, and I thought his. I thought he kind of stepped in the shots better, went more straight up and down, and then they went in. Tried to run some things for him, but kind of, because we were struggling, particularly when KJ wasn't in. Dennis made a big, should have been a three-point play, missed a free throw for us, and that was a, I mean, that was a big boy post up, and he posted up strong in the lane, and, which we needed at that time, because we were struggling without KJ, but I think, I don't think KJ scored a second half, but I think you see how important he is to us because he just he gets everybody where they're supposed to be and and he gets so much attention that it kind of opens things up for everybody else. But you now Gary Brown makes a big three for us and finally still has the line, makes some free throws for us. I thought Jabari had a big game. Jabari makes a big three. You now he didn't shoot it near as well as what he shot the last game, but. He made a big three for us when, when KJ wasn't there. And, uh, um, we just we just kind of we got to stop taking plays off. We just take plays off. We got guys that just stand there, guys run by them and go rebound. And it's not high school anymore, you know. It's uh, we'll do it for a while when we don't do it. And I haven't put them. Up. I haven't. I haven't maybe emphasized it quite as much because I just. You can only put them on the treadmill so much whenever you play as many games in a short period of time as what we are, but we're going to fix it. Uh, can you talk about going to the three guards? Uh, we pass the ball better. I mean, if you, you, know, you saw kind of how stagnant we got whenever we didn't have those guys in, and we just passed the ball so much better. And then, and, you know, the key to the key to uh, attacking zones and really the keys to attacking second man to man is you guys you guys gotta move the ball. And those three guys move the ball obviously better than our other guys do. Coach a couple years ago or maybe even last year, if Truck starts off the game with a couple of turnovers, a couple of missed shots, maybe a couple of bad missed shots, you're yanking him right off to the bench to watch. Is the level of trust growing between I didn't take him out. <laughs> Today? Yeah. Okay. I'm just. What the hell are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just. I'm just wondering if there's a more of a level of trust that he'll well, turn things him, around. I took him out because he didn't run what I told him to run during a timeout. But then, then I the guy I put in gets you know they straight line drive him for a layup, and I was like, okay, that's enough. Take it back in. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot more trust. Yeah. Sure, and that happens. But the, you know, they also they know. They know when they make mistakes as well. Um, not, you know, obviously, I'm not going to let them continue to make the same ones. But you, generally, you don't. You know, generally, they, they know. They know when they haven't done what we ask them to do. So you can tell your freshmen about Big East and the truck and them could tell a freshman about Big East play. But did they, tonight, get a pretty good lesson in what Big East football was like? Yeah, that's a pretty good 7-16. and 16. No, you know, I told him, I told him after the game, just 17 more, guys. We've got 17 more. <laughs> well, even you seem to be in pain right now, and I mean, I think you know, you got a, you got blood, you got uh, Dennis going down. I mean, it was a, it was physical too. Well, that we we did not respond very well to their their physicality. They were they were way more physical than we were today. And, but I think that you know, you keep the thing that the thing that bothers me that you keep tell we keep telling them and telling them and telling them is the reputation that we have here is that we're going to rebound and we're going to guard, and, and so everybody comes in with the idea that they're going to keep us off the glass and, and, and they're going to have to be very physical rebounding the ball and people talk about we're, we're physical defensively which maybe at one time we were, uh, we're not we're not now but at one time we were. But, Coach, one point you went zone. Did, did that help you? What, what was your thought process when you did that? I'll tell you what happened. We were, uh, we, were they, we knew they were going to play some 2-3 zone. And so we worked against their 2-3 zone. And then I had, you know, the, uh, the starters 
playing 2 3 zone against the second team. They're pretty good at that. You know, so I thought, you know, against this team in particular, because I thought if we went point drop, we'd get too spread, uh, that, that maybe 2 3 wouldn't be bad. And that was so we, we actually uh, practiced it a little bit more uh, that day, and then we did it and walked through the day, and so we've spent a total of probably eight or nine minutes on it. And, uh, you know, but with KJ and Truck and Dennis, they kind of have an idea. And, and it really helped us. We, you know, I told them, if, you know, if spacing wasn't good, go ahead and trap. And we trapped it in the first half and got a turnover, which which was good. Uh, I mean, the end of the game, it wasn't. But we, I think we, we, we got a hand on a ball in the 2-3 zone. But it was man to man at the end when we, when we made the steals and, and, and got the cushion. How bad is KJ's eye cut? I mean, is he going to get stitches? He needs a little character. He needs a little character. His face, yeah. He's too much of a baby face now. I think a couple scars would be good for him. Make him look a little tougher. Although, you know, I, I said that to him, and then I started thinking, maybe because of that baby face of yours is why they let you rebound so much. <laughs> maybe they don't think you're tough. But, um, but yeah, I mean, he'll be okay. I mean, he's, he's, uh, he's one of us. He's, he's a gamer. He'll, he'll be out there tomorrow going. I'm sure it's going to swell a little bit. I think it's right in the eyebrow. He just hit on that bone, you know. When you hit on that bone, it cuts easier. Coach, turnovers a struggle earlier in the year. Uh, you also scored 24 to 6 in points off turnovers today. So does that show how far some of the young guys have come? It's a day-to-day thing, <laughs> you know. I mean, uh, we were better today, but we played three guards a bunch today, too. And when you play three guards, we ought to pass it better. I mean, I... As, as sure as I would say, oh, yeah, I think they're getting better, then we'll have about 27 of them, you know, two nights from now. So I'm not going to say that. No, we are getting better. Coach, what did you think of Dennis's performance tonight playing through the hip injury? Um, I thought he was tentative at first, honestly. And then I thought, you know, when particularly when we lost KJ, I thought he was, he was much better. He was much better. Dennis has got to be physical to be effective. And I, and I thought he... Got, as the game wore on, I thought he became more and more uh, engaged in the physicality that was going on. And, and, and to tell the truth, he did a great job on the ball screens. At the end of the game, he's the guy they had to try to throw the ball over top of, and he's, he's a lot to throw over and around for that matter. With a fast turnaround like you got, like you practice in the night, or like give him the rest of the night off? No, we, you know, <laughs> we're going to go early, though. Uh, we're going to go at 1 o'clock. We, you know, we thought about going 4 to 7, but I think we go at 1 o'clock, and then we'll have them. The game's not till 9, so we should be fine. I mean, honestly, this turnaround's not going to be near as bad as the Kansas State-Miami turnaround. Coach, what was it that got Trump turned around? Just a matter of just making a, getting a few to go in and then on a roll from there? Or? He, he's put a lot of time in us, in all honesty. You know, uh, he, he's been what you heard in, in, in getting extra shots. Uh, we went we went uh, we went twice yesterday because we needed to. And and he wanted to stay afterwards and shoot and Larry was trying to kick him out and I think he still came back and got shots. So you know, it's like the old boy said to me one time, he said, Working hard don't don't guarantee success, but it sure as hell gives you a better chance. And that's I think that's true.